Silence. The only sound I hear. It rouses me from my sleep. I open my eyes. I feel my eyelids lift, yet I see nothing. I blink. Once. Twice. The panic rising in my chest as I realize I can't see. Thrice. I barely see it. Fog. Surrounding me. Stretching as far as I can see. Fog. And nothingness. Frightened. I ask the void around me. Where am I? What is this place? I hear my own voice answer me. But it doesn't come from me. It sounds unfamiliar, bellowing over me, echoing in the great black emptiness. This is where you wish to be. I see the fog around me move, dark as soot, to materialize into a beastly form. A body covered in innumerous sharp spikes, its features unrecognizable in the dark void, but as deformed as it looks when I look at the waning spark in its eyes, I immediately recognize it. I feel it in my heart. This is me. You recognize me. It speaks. The wish I made before I went to sleep today came true. I was desperate. I was alone. The fog moves again, forming multiple faces familiar faces of my close friends and family. The foggy images shift, creating memories of my mom comforting me after I'd lost my job, even though I always push her away. My sister encouraging me to publish my music, but I didn't appreciate her encouragement. My friend joking with me to put my mind off of another upcoming surgery, even after I yelled at her. They try. But you don't let them in. They try. Always. But I was selfish. I wish I tried to talk to them before I made that horrible wish. I wish I could see them again. As I finish that thought, the spikes disappear from the beast's body. It lifts its head to look me in the eye, daring me to continue. I look away to escape the light in the beast's eyes. And for the first time, I see other people on the horizon, each standing in front of a dark creature. Before I could wonder, my own monster answers my curiosity. They are just like you. They can never leave this place. Unless the wish that led them here is reversed from the heart. I look back towards the faces of my loved ones floating in the darkness, and I feel a kind of resolve I have never felt before. I have to see them again. I have to make it up to them. I have to... I wish I could live. Suddenly, the creature's eyes shine so brightly that it almost blinds me. I feel a lightness in my heart, like a burden has just been dropped. The world starts to transform around me. When you feel alone, remember their warmth. My vision blurs as I start to black out. But before I do, I see the last tendrils of black fog clear from the creature's body, finally revealing a silhouette that resembles me, the real me. She smiles, and the world brightens. The first thing I hear when I wake up is the steady beeping of the heart monitor. I feel a familiar hand enveloping my own, and when I open my eyes to see the relieved faces of the people dearest to my heart, I smile. When next I feel alone, before I make a wish I cannot reverse, I'll remember this warmth.